Hey everybody, this is Grace, and uh, it's been a few days since I've been outside, I think. I actually go outside maybe, I don't know, I could be wrong, it could have been just a couple of days. This is so Groundhog Day-ish, uh, but today is Election Day. I don't know when I'm going to put this up because I'm going to wait until after today, I've been saying that, to start putting them up. I think I'll put up one of them, but on any of my channels, the... Uh, views to have gone of course you know people paying attention to other things but it's been going down quite a bit on all of them and uh and i knew that that would happen and like i said today's election day that uh, adam had said that he this was his holidays all wrapped around together first he said christmas and then he said all of them <laughs> you know not all of them but he was saying uh halloween thanksgiving christmas all of them, you know like that <laughs> And I said, okay. And then he, first thing this morning, he said, happy election day. <laughs> anyway, I said, so you get to celebrate it every couple of years, huh? But uh, anyway, um, for me, I, uh, this morning, when I get up in the morning, I set my medications, you know, for diabetes and, and hypertension and such, and my supplements in one of those little, uh, you know, those things that you put them in. Uh, each day I do that in the morning and I opened up one that I had I get mine through the mail and uh, I opened up one and they've given me it, it's the same thing as a different generic but I've had trouble with different generics um, some I've been told by some pharmacists it could be just the dye or it could be what they clean this stuff with and I don't know I'm very sensitive but anyway as far as what I've been doing this time I have been really getting into writing these stories that just are popping into my head like crazy and um, different characters and I had mentioned that I wanted to have different towns and then there's gonna now there's gonna be a city but the towns are like um, surrounding one main one I call it needles and I took I took off that video I had made about it um, because I, I want to do something like, you know, each each town has its own um, channel that I'm going to use. I had, um, you know, just have a different channel for each one and kind of link them at one point, you know, with the, um, at the end of the video, those thumbnails that you can see pop up that have linked to um, other videos. You can do that from channel to channel. I've, I've done it before it changed to studio um i've done it since <laughs> so but i'm wondering you know I'm, I'm so i'm getting these binders and i'm writing all these notes on different kinds of um, notepads i have so many <laughs> and i still think I'm, I'm running out low i'm gonna need some more but i don't go shopping and you can't find any good decent ones through anything that i've ordered from so far really they're cheap cheap ones cheap cheap so and there's a certain kind of like that's only I've only found at this one um, Tuesday morning store so I haven't been in any stores but uh, I haven't by the way um, this past week up until um, until I think Halloween for about a week or so I had a, f a fever that would come and go and I have an old, old-fashioned, um, I don't know how old that thing is, thermometer. I couldn't find my digital one again. <laughs> but anyway, I, I ordered one and they sent the stuff, you know, from a local store. But they left that outside to get online and the woman said it would be out the next day. It came in yesterday. First time I tested it, it was, or yesterday day before. But the first time I tested it yesterday, it was just like a few point you know something above my norm and from what the doctor's office had said when I called them you know that week uh, last week you know what is my norm because from what I've understood it's got to be from your norm <laughs> you know I've always thought that was since I was young my norm is always 97 point something but anyway, from the with the old one, it was saying it was a like 1.2 percent hot, 1.2 degrees higher. 
than my norm. And I was worried about that because I, you know, with COVID and I've been having symptoms and all. And I've, I always do because I think I had it back in February and I still have symptoms that come and go. You know, they don't last long, but they come and go since February. And this is, today is November 3rd. So, <clears throat> so I don't really go anywhere. And during that, yeah, and, but my, my temperature has been down since Halloween, so, you know, and yeah, anyway, yesterday it was, like I said, just a point, you know, like, point this, that was just higher, a little bit, so it really, really wasn't, because it fluctuates during the day and all that, and, uh, but anyway, I, I was doing, I was talking about the medications, they sent me a different one, and, uh, I'm worried about that, I'm going to call them and let, I need to call them in a little while and ask. But it was well, one of the things I wanted to mention on that is my pharmacist and uh, some other people I've known over time. They all have the. It's like some women I've known. They all have a certain look to them, and uh, and it's usually ones with a little bit of a reddish hair, like Irish. Well, I know they're Irish, <laughs> so. Um, descendants and uh, that, that kind of red and they have a certain look to them and I um, I think what was funny was I was thinking of making a character out of one of these um, this this type okay I should say type that I've known over years and I even came up with a name and it's not for this channel but it's for a different one I came up with a name and I didn't realize, but that pharmacist's name is that first same name. <laughs> I was like, wow, <laughs> okay. Uh, when I got the medication, I looked, I said, oh, wow, that is his first name. So, uh, anyway, I'm not going to change the name. I like the name, but anyway, i got to remember to call. And one of the things lately is remembering stuff. Boy, I'm rambling all over the place here. So yeah, I've been, to get back to this, I've been writing stories, and uh, I'm, I'm really into it. I, I've done this for years in my head, and sometimes I would write notes, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure, probably. But, um, and I did, I had, I don't know if I put that in the video I deleted or not, but I had a um, story all written in my head, most of it. And my stories are always ongoing. I just keep, you know. But I had one uh, years ago. I don't remember when, how many years ago it was. And I've been, since then, been thinking, okay, I want to take those and make them the characters of this one town in it and the northern town. And uh, But if I can remember, man, the it was, it was like like flashbacks. Some people had the, the memories of those characters came pouring out so I was writing those real fast on the on note cards and separating them in binders and um, you know put groups of them together and then there were other ones and yeah it was and then it just kept growing these characters and I, of course I can't put all characters on one channel because already you know they will have a few and it would get too confusing you know, so many different characters. Um, you know, I've never done anything like this way, the way of writing it on PowerPoint, except for, well, I have in some ways over the years, but just a little bit here and there, you know, over these six years, five, six years, but never like a full story <laughs> that it keeps going and ongo ongoing with all different characters and they you know, blend somehow. So this is a, an exper experiment for me, and you know, they are all copyrighted. So, you know, but uh, and all standard disclaimers apply. You know, like any resemblance, any person living or dead. But everything is going to have a some resemblance because you know, like it's a type. For me, it's types of people. You know what they do, and of course, you know, I'm not going to just make up types out of the blue. Um, I mean, as in creating, well, I do create the, the characters, <laughs> but you know, you have to know the words to use to make the characters, you know what I'm saying? But it really, 
any resemblance to any person living or dead is purely coincidental because it's not they're not I'm not going to write about any person one person I know you see it's going to be just different character characters and different characteristics and traits and you know combination some of them might not make any sense <laughs> yeah but they're they're fictional they're all fictional and uh, but anyway uh, it's, it's just I'm doing these kinds of videos because I, you know like the process I'm going through but I really am finding it enjoy enjoyable more, I think, you know, like I said, I have done these kinds of things in the past. Much of, you know, many years of what I had to write was for college and university. I was a career student, taught college and university too. I mean, a career student for many years. Some call it professional student. But, um, yeah, so everything I had to write was nonfiction. Except for in some classes like English. And, uh, well, one of them I did. But... <laughs> There's a story behind that one, but I have stories, really, about just being a student. And, uh, so anyway, different characters, different plots, different what's going to, you know, happen and ongoing. And I, you know, as long as I'm in the mood to do it, I'll do it. I started some of them back in July, I think it was, or maybe before then. But I did verbal, as I mentioned. And, uh, I'm going to try to put those into a uh, you know into PowerPoint and write them out so my seasons will have to change <laughs> I wrote season the next one's season two maybe I'll just have to put them all back on season one so but I already have those like I said verbal okay and like like what happened with those you know I made some and then I got made some that were the old my old fashioned way my old fashioned way just talking like this about different topics and I have two of them I want to make public that I've already done but did last month sometime but I don't know I'm really into these stories but like I said I you know change moods you know something else will happen and I'll say okay I'm going to stop writing for a little while and I'll go back to doing this way for a little while or maybe something else will come up I really, really do want to change to where it's more in writing and stories. I like those better. Or I write, I can write instead of doing the video in verbal, I can, or I can do it verbal, then take it and put it in PowerPoint another time. And, and writing in PowerPoint, as I've said, is not all that easy. You know, it's really not. It's not like writing on Word where it can just flow. No. So, I came out here, I found out I had a whole bunch more notes out here like I need more but all these notepads that I've used and I can use some of these to have plots for the other stories but the stories they just come to me really I don't you know just boom there they are and uh you know, especially when in the morning but I can't even say that now these days they go all day long you know just different stories for different characters and I, I used to read a lot when I was a kid you know, from starting early when I first learned how to read and I uh, just continued you know was one of those that continued reading but more recently the past few years I, I kind of stopped reading every once in a while but it's more like now I want to write <laughs> you see but how about other things about it you know like getting supplies you know because I need binders and I had a whole bunch of binders over the years I've bought Especially from Dollar Tree, some from Walmart, but mainly from Dollar Tree. And when school season starts, how they have so many of them, they have cute little um, designs on them. Walmart does too, but they're more expensive. The same kind of thing. But um, I had bought a lot over, purchased a lot over the years, and because of there are different designs on them, I can easily, more easily remember. Plus, I put it on the edge, the, whatever it's called, not the edge, but. But I'm working on that, and the, getting the supplies to do things like this isn't that easy. <laughs> it really isn't. And, uh, you know, the uh, dividers, the certain type of dividers I want, the certain types of uh, labels I want, the um, protectors, page, what do they call them? 
paper protectors. Some of them are just way too flimsy. Dollar Tree, they usually were. I think it was Dollar Tree. But all kinds of things, you know, white out. Uh, not the type that you paint on, but the type that rolls on. And that some of them just go so fast. And for me, maybe I'll make more mistakes. Pens, whatever. It's not as easy when you order it online. I don't know what is the problem with that. Uh, it's the same thing like I'm wanting to order sweatpants. Just sweatpants. You know, the ones that you just can wear at home because it's chilly or cold outside. Uh-uh, you have to go in the store to buy them. Yeah. <laughs> Adam had his little conspiracy theory about that, and I tend to agree. <laughs> Why do you suddenly have to go in the store to buy them? You know, like you can buy all your groceries at the same store, Walmart, and you can't get sweatpants, and you can, but you can buy other stuff. So, you know, there's Walmart, the pickup and delivery, and then there's a Walmart.com, and yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd come out here. I need to get a little sun today. Like I said, today's election day, and Adam's all, he was all, he's all anxious. He been, has been for a while, and he said, I don't understand why I'm letting, my, letting it bother me as much as it is. And I said, I don't either. You know, I mean, it bothers me too. Don't, don't get me wrong. I watch the news. It's always, pretty much always on. I would say a big chunk, at least 70, 75% of the day, maybe, you know, it's on or... I could be exaggerating, but I hear it at least, you know, every blue moon, you know, I'm checking up on it, see what's going on. Like one, like we were been, we've been saying for a while, and remember, and said it again recently, it's like watching one really long soap opera, you know, and it's a daily soap opera, pretty much, and uh, it just goes on and on and on, <laughs> too much drama. And uh, so I watch it. I, I had never as much in my life until like five years ago or so, or maybe more. But really now. So we'll find out tonight what's going to happen. You know, well, we might, we won't really find out tonight. Never have found out exactly 100% that night. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But he, anyway, he said he was going to take off today and he's over there working. He works in our home so in our house he works from home but he's in that room where his office working <laughs> I'm like didn't you say you're taking off today he goes well I kind of sort of am whatever he's salaried so anyway he still puts in his time interesting anyway I think that's enough for now I'll talk to you on another video